right. So a few months back, Heavy Weapon Systems asked me if I wanted to try out some of their new uh, resin weapon, the melee. Because they, they they saw how much I like uh, melee weapons, and so a couple weeks later, they sent me out some new pieces. Some pieces that actually haven't even been released on the website yet, and uh, just giving them running through a little bit of a course, uh, seeing what they look like on a few different scales, and so far I am super excited about these, so let's check them out. Hey, what's up guys? So it's been a little while, uh, been busy with work, but now I'm back for a few little videos. So Heavy Weapon Systems sent me over uh, some of their resin weapons uh, to try out during their, uh, they were designing a bunch of uh, melee weapons for uh, November and October, uh, October and November, and uh, they sent over some for me to check out, and uh, that's what I'm gonna do now. Let's have a little look inside here and see what we get. All right, so let's take a look inside. Um, they sent a pretty nice, uh, a pretty uh, generous box of parts, and they already look amazing. Let's get them out. All right, so let me move my microphone back a little bit. Ah, oh, that looks like a fun thing. Okay, that's a bunch of swords right in there, a bunch of IBO inspired uh, and a little bit, a little bit of Naruto, a little bit of uh, <clears throat> uh, front mission. Ooh, he has some guns, nice. Ooh, some Zaku axes, some Heat Hawks. IBO axes, Graze axes, a little more IBO choppers, nice, some panthas, ooh, a nice big sword, looks like a goof uh, in some way design inspired. And now what I also have is I bought from them a little while ago and I never really talked about them, uh, there's a few other little bits and pieces so I'll talk about this uh, too in the next one. So let's get these packages opened and uh, we'll see, we'll take a closer look. Before I open them, I just want to talk a quick little bit about the packaging so you can see them a little bit more. So, uh, sealed up real nice, attached to the top, um, you know, nothing nothing get tampering inside of it. So you know, once they've put in, been put in, they're sealed in there, so that's pretty good. Uh, padding, you won't really need that much. The, the shipping is, uh, is where all the padding is going to need to be. Um, tendency with these resin, as long as they're in a safe position and you're not uh, jumping on top of them. Uh, they're fine to go there's no warping at this point but warping in any kind of that situation can happen in any kind of resin uh, kits that's just something you got to go into um and we'll try to uh if we notice any of that in this we'll try to fix some I, you know either warming it up with some water bending it placing it cooling it um or just living with it because that's the nature of resin uh, uh casting process is sometimes you're going to get it straight sometimes it's going to warp it's the nature of things as opposed to injection plastic which cools instantly but it's an inc incredibly expensive process. So let's get these open, take a look inside. Starting with that one, probably. All right. Very easy. So let's see what came in this package. I don't really know if this was necessarily um, what I mean check, check again check out the website for this I'll put tons of links in the video. Uh, you can see what they're selling currently and what they aren't some of these may not be necessarily available yet but already that's looking real nice. You know I'm wondering uh, if some of these would actually scale well with uh, Machina Krieger too. Uh, you know a bit outrageous um, but still you know would, would fit in a in, in you know a stylized uh, version of it. So, 
Wait, look, I also have one of the other swords. Try to find that, track that down. There we go. So this was something, uh, an, an older one they had from the website. I don't remember the exact name of it, but I bought this a while back. It's just, I mean, just look at it. The size of it, uh, you know, taking the, uh, the Naruto vibes off of it. But this is what we got in there. Let's take a little closer look. Yeah, that's nice. Very straight. I see very little warping. If actually, I don't see any at all. Sharp edge. Feels real sharp, real nice. No air bubbles. Nothing. Nothing um, that are notorious with other kind of resin castings. Like this is very straight. Um, I could imagine parts of it could become brittle because again, the nature of resin. It's not. Uh, no one can get. No can. No one can avoid it. Uh, resin by nature is flexible, but also reaches a brittle point. Like so, I can still flex them but if i flex too hard that's going to snap it same thing with these small parts so just treat them with caution uh, and the only things you really have to clean up let me zoom in real close so what you're going to come up with is where the sprue basically with the 3d printing supports were you're going to have a little bit of cleanup across those edges but that is seconds of sanding and done everywhere else is very clean some very nice sharp edges there too So I'll speed look through this one. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to spend more time on this one. So get that in focus a little bit better. It's nice, really sharp details and something so small. So everything else I'm not going to really talk about too much, but uh, I'll, once I find something to specifically talk about, but I just want to give you a little shot or a look of, the, of each, each kind of set in a that are coming in the package. Just a nice close-up of everything. So, here's this. So these are some of the axes and the choppers. So these were new. Uh, this was one of the older versions that they were uh, designing. They're still selling these. Uh, I believe this one's also sold in the STL for your own printing. Don't quote me on that. Double check with their website. But these are some of the new smaller axes. You got a 100 scale and these are going to be at 144 so you can see the difference there 100 144 and it'll vary of course uh, depending on the size of the models you're using in the hands so what they do is what the heavy weapons webby heavy weapon systems have done is they've uh, had their own designed out hands in uh I'll, I'll i'll look at these a little closer but basically what you can use your own hands for the uh for the 100 scale 144 you should be safe with using uh just the standard uh what come with the 144 scale all right so let's go over the get a closer look at these uh, axes the first set let me get it in come on come on there we go so these are all very iron board iron iron blood orphan inspired as you can tell they look real nice uh if you don't have an, if you don't have the ability to kit, to pick up any of these kits that had the weapons with them this is a nice you know uh, consolation it's a nice uh version to have where you don't have to you don't have to track down the kits for them so those look real nice should get even closer There we go. That's better. Okay. And look at all these. We've already got a wide view, so we'll look at everything up close now. Here. All the axes. The same. A little bit of print lines in there, but again, these are things that sand down. The stuff you're seeing will not be seen later. Anything, a little bit of thin down putty two and those print lines are gone but those nice looking axe nice looking take on the uh, the gray's axe little alterations and in, into the design i like that and then the 100th one 100 scale see that nice crisp detail there and if you notice they did change up the resin a little bit so here's uh, another set of the katars or the 
point. Yeah, someone, someone, correct me. Tell me what exactly I'm supposed to be saying about these. But they, uh, I believe, they're the guitars, the, the hand, handing guitars, or you know, the pronunciation is never going to be correct. So these look very cool, nice and sharp. These can be at one 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 forty fourth scale as well. I see you throwing those on some uh, thirty minute mission kits too. That's very cool. I like those a lot. It's a nice shape. I wonder if you could get more and attach them make a star a nice throwing star out of it uh you'd have to maybe you know you'd probably be able to if you're careful you could probably drill in some really tiny magnets and do something there but um again resin brittle watch out for that when drilling take your time all right so this is something cool uh i hadn't seen this up before uh they sent it over i, di I didn't know what i was getting uh, and uh, this is very cool because it's a, the one of my favorite things are the kind of more um, some of the more fancy or the more unique heat hawk uh, Zaku Zeon, Zeon axes and uh, this one is one of the classes I forget which one of the Zabi family I think it was the big uh, spiky muscly dude now you're going to be upset with my lack of knowledge in that but as far as i i, I like the models i like the suits storylines are great but i'm not going to remember all the characters so i'm never going to do that so whatever the big guy with the big spiky shoulders are and i'm sure you're going to remind me who that is but that guy this axe is there and it looks like there's actually quite a few different style tips that should just pop right on to give you different looks now again these aren't going to be fit on and they're going to stay permanent they're made to be glued down after you've decided to paint it the separation here is so you can paint um the the axes separate you know do glowing maybe you want to recast these to um inject them for clear uh not inject not recast them for selling that would be incredibly rude but if you were going to mold them for yourself recast them in clear to be able to do a glow effect i think you should do that that looks really cool i like that shape oh i wonder if you could flip it yeah, of course you can. Okay, so this is fantastic. Lots of different options here. Wow, that's just in one kit. Okay. And then you've got the more standard. And you can just flip them around anywhere. That's a lot of cool looks. Okay, and you got some standard axes in there. Very cool. I'm enjoying that a lot. That's going to be a lot of fun to piece together. So there's that. All right, another set. Uh, these I ordered, uh, this didn't come in this set. I ordered these a while ago. These are actually the first things I ordered that uh, that, uh, that um, drew me to the heavy weapon systems, uh, uh, their resin kits and their resin weapons was just this, the shape of these like combat machetes. It's just mostly just that, that, that uh, the length on there. And then this one, the, the, tur the curved look on it. I just love that shape so much and see so you see this was printed you can see a little bit of the uh, support nubs left over from 3d printing on one side and then not on the other again easy to sand goes right away now uh, one thing you're going to want to be like i said before the brittle nature of resin is is there you still have quite a lot of flexibility okay without breakage don't think you're going to sit there and it's going to snap immediately but when you come down to thin areas like grips you have to be cautious of putting too much flex in here. If it is warped, try heating it up with some warm water. Make it if it gets flexible, then re, re positioning it while it's uh, malleable. Uh, resin has a flex point and then a fracture point, and it will break. I broke this here because I was pressing in. I wasn't thinking like I always do, and I've done that on every resin kit I've ever had. Is I always break a piece because I, I try pulling because I you think about it as plastic until it's too late. But it is resin, has flex but it will reach a point where it will snap. So be cautious, but these are very cool. I think you'll like them. This is at 100, 1 100 scale. I don't believe they scale them down at 144th yet, but it'd be nice to have. Uh, maybe they'll do the digital files and you can uh, put them however, scale them however you want. But another cool set, uh, check that out on the website. They are definitely up because I bought these. So check them out. All right, here's the last one before I go over the, uh, the hands and uh, place them inside the model kit uh, so you can see so you can see uh, how they look held against a uh, a suit so this is where you'd have your just a nice these are these are one 100 scale so some nice large swords in there with uh, one that's obviously um very close to the goof styled saber now these all come apart in each one so 
having these handles uh, be this way is very nice. You will need to do a little bit of cleanup and sanding to make fitment perfect, but right now, just without any work, this is right out of the box. They fit in real nice, real sturdy. So that's a pretty nice, uh, decent size. Should have probably painted this up for uh, for my messer at the, the last competition. Hmm. They'll paint it for the next one. Or I'll have it hold it, maybe. Yep. So, if you want to change things up again, it's super simple. So you don't like the round part? There we go. Shorter handle. I'll put this big old nasty handle on there. Look at that. There you go. Now, one cool thing uh, about this. So here are the hands that come with it. So they'll, they'll give you ones that fit exactly perfect. Now, you'll be able to sand down and make any of these handles fit. But with theirs, you have ones already ready. So you take the thumb thumb comes off and it's a nice tight fit you kind of angle it kind of tilt it in now let's get that slid in and there you go proprietary hands that fit and hold now you may need some uh, puttying or some tape to make sure all the wrist joints fit universally uh, but I, I have I have faith in you you can do that even if you gotta glue it, but uh, you could also just make sure other hands can fit with it too. Uh, you can exchange out the handles with a smaller piece of styrene and pipe if you want. But other than that, I think uh, think you're good. Really like that. Another thing for the handles, uh, I just want to show you fitting right there in the Messer hand. So, you know, the a larger 144th uh, scale like the Messer uh, will fit these handles perfectly. Um, you might have a little issue with, especially the goof handle, this uh, being a little thick on the inside won't really fit in the, in the hands that are given with you. Um, all the other type of handles will fit though. Uh, rifle handles, weapons and stuff like that. It's just tricky. So you'll either have to grind down these pieces, but they will fit in something like a larger scale here or the one, 100th um, uh, grip hands will fit them. But, uh, yeah, I'll just toss and again, just showing you how easy that is one handed. There we go. Nice piece for, I mean, a lot of stuff really works good with the mess for being a larger 144th, but just being able to pop on uh, any handles with almost any blade gives you so much universal, universe, universal um, interchangeability. So it's really nice to be able to pop on any of those to get a really dynamic, cool figure. Um, it does fit better in the larger hands, but a larger 144th like the Messer, it fits no problem. Looks great. All right, so I even, I have a, I'm not that much of a fan of the like artillery or guns or weapons when it comes to the gunplay. I, I'm much more uh, melee based or just, just it feels like it hold, they hold better in their hands, but um, I do appreciate when some cool looking uh, little uh, machine gun, shotgun, uh, uh, UC Gundam type kits come in and it looks like with this set we've got you know a little small shotgun a uh, couple rifles and then the clips to go with them and then a silencer or a rifle tip extension for for uh, these two rifles and then the uh, shotgun just stays as it is but definitely appreciate that I mean I'll, I'll pop this on a, a 144th kit so you can see how it looks at the end of the video but yeah there's that Oh, I just noticed too. I think there's a little. Uh, hey, wait a minute. Let's zoom in on that. I believe they had their logo hanging out there. Yeah, a little bit of the swiping there. Oh yeah. Oh man. Mind my gross nails. Sorry about that. But yeah. Yep. And there's the uh, HWS on the side. Now uh, again, this is good branding for them to make sure they have, um, make sure their kits are known to be theirs. But uh, you could just take that off if you want. Very quick razor blading, sanding, putting, filling, uh, cleanup. It's not, don't don't use that as a detriment. Uh, you can take that off very easily and uh, move it back to being smooth. But I think you should keep it. Nice uh, advertisement.
I'm gonna talk a little bit about handles right now uh, with this. So basically the one that comes with this larger sword because of the length on it and the way these little details are sculpted, where the line segments are, there's more risk of fractures there. Um, I've been fixing this with just super glue, although a pin like drill, drilling a pin through, all the way through, possibly even having uh, this rendered with a hollow spot in the center that would fit like a needle or a pin would be good when the printing happens. It's just the only, it's because of these segments um, tend to make it a little bit trickier uh, when you're trying to move it and flex it, you'll end up snapping it there because it kind of becomes like, the, see how far out this is? The leverage wants to work. So any small movements this far out will snap that off. Um, not having issues up here closer to it it just look look out for that and uh, wherever it breaks you can just glue it back together it's pretty good on the segments uh, it's always going to snap on those segments so uh, not really much you can do about it being the length that it is any resin piece unless it's a really flexible impact resistant expensive expensive resin is going to they're all going to break in places like this so just be aware uh, for the smaller handles let me zoom out so for all these other handles though you still got to watch out for it okay you got to watch out for flexing and damaging these components so every resin piece um, that is printed or cast unless it is a really high impact resistant flexible resin is going to have those fracture points of those thin areas so always be careful doesn't matter if it's a seven hundred dollar uh you know a garage kit there have those points they are weak there's a certain point where they will break so watch out for that have super glue nearby or drill out a very small tiny uh, brass fitting uh, like almost like a brass wire like a really tiny micro drill and that should putting that in between the blade and and the handle area anywhere the break is that'll give it enough strength with super glue to keep it uh, strong forever uh, again small things like this just watch out for them don't flex them too much you should be in good shape. It's usually, it's only really when it comes to the longer ones where they're gonna wanna break off at the end. Haven't had any trouble with these and I've been messing around with them, dropping them all over the place. So be wary of the handles. That's the only uh, issue that I can see that, uh, with that without thinking you're gonna start flexing and playing with them and snap them, okay? Watch out for handles. Everything else, good to go. One thing I want to remind you guys about uh, when it comes to resin safety, uh, when sanding or clipping or trimming, please wear a dust mask or respirator. Mainly it's for the resin dust. You don't want that getting in your lungs. So when you are sanding these down and cleaning up, try to use wet you know, water with your sandpaper. So wet sanding or outside or around a fan or something to blow the dust out. Uh, I, ju I just want you guys to be safe because that when it comes to those kind of particles in your lungs, it's just not good over time. All right. It's uh, very easy to simple do. Just get a little bit of water and sandpaper when you're cleaning it, wipe it down, try to get that dust free and wear a respirator or a dust mask. Thank you so much. Thank you.
So if you guys are interested in any of these, uh, follow the links in the description and uh, uh, check out their digital and physical products uh, from their websites, their Etsy shop and their uh, Gumroad. Thank you so much. Check it out in the description. Bye. Thank you.